What's going on, y'all? Today I'm going to be talking about inshore fishing patterns for Mobile Bay. Um, we're going to talk about redfish, flounder, speckled trout, and where y'all can find them this spring. Um, this is one of the best times to go fishing, and we're going to talk about that in this video, y'all. But before we get into that, y'all, hit that subscribe button. If y'all like watching fishing content or seeing things that are going on around the Mobile Bay and surrounding areas, hit that subscribe button. Also, check us out on Patreon. If y'all are in Mobile Bay, you're looking for fishing spots, everything inshore fishing related is found on Patreon. I'm going to put a link up here to our Patreon channel as well as down in the description. Um, but we've got 53 videos on Patreon right now that are all around the Mobile Bay area. So all of my YouTube videos, there's a behind the scenes breakdown of where each trip has taken place and where the fish are caught. Um, and a couple of things that we got coming up, uh, I'm dropping later on this month is going to be uh, the top four spots to find spawning trout. Um, we're gonna talk more about some redfish stuff and then where y'all can find flounder at this spring. So if y'all want to see all of that content here in the Mobile Bay, make sure y'all check us out on Patreon. But without further ado, let's dive into Google Earth and talk about the video. All right, y'all got Mobile Bay pulled up right here. So check it out. First thing we're going to talk about is redfish because redfish is a pretty simple thing. All right, so there's not a whole lot of huge migration that happens with our redfish. Um, of course, we, we get a huge influx of bull reds in the fall that come in here, and then they kind of trickle back offshore, some of them, uh, not all of them. But other than that, if we're talking slot reds and, and things like that, um, pretty much still going to be able to find them in the same spots this spring, and they're, they're going to be really, really active because um, we've had kind of a cold winter and now that things are warming up you got a lot of shad spawn that's happened glass minnows have spawned out uh, mullet are spawning so you got a lot more bait fish in the area and these fish are eating so your redfish are going to pretty much stay up here around the causeway uh, in your river systems down here around heron bay dolphin island all of your typical spots there's not much for us to talk about and unfold uh, as far as redfish is concerned now with speckled trout okay so speckled trout that have been inside dog river foul river all these rivers right they're getting ready to make their run down south and start spawning so as we continue to see these 70 degree water temperatures we can look to see these fish down here on dolphin island fort morgan these areas probably as early as as, as late march maybe even sooner than that uh, I would expect them to, to be down around here, which is typically a little bit sooner uh, than what we're used to. But definitely right now we're finding a lot of trout around like the mouth of Doll River, the Theodore Industrial Canal. They're starting to migrate out. Uh, same thing goes for Magnolia Springs and Fish River. These trout are definitely out here in the Wheats Bay. And then they're looking to make that run south. So here by the end of the month, uh, early April, look to target these speckled trout down here around Fort Morgan, uh, all of these areas right here down around their spawning grounds. Once again, if y'all want to know where to locate uh, these speckled trout in the spring during their spawning areas, be sure to check out our Patreon. Um, but also down here around Dolphin Island, you can pretty much hang up anything north of that as, as far as speckled trout is concerned. By the end of, of March, early April, all these fish are going to be down south. All right, and then lastly, we got flounder. The flounder have migrated offshore uh, for the most part, and that's not to say um, people aren't still catching some stragglers, but there's going to be a huge influx of flounder starting to come through the passes and starting to migrate back into our system um, this month and then uh, definitely April and May you're going to see a, your flounder numbers start to increase. Uh, areas to look for these flounder, right? So they're offshore. So when these flounder are offshore, they just push north until they find land and then they start to flood in, right? Boom. So areas that you could definitely catch a lot of flounder. One of my favorite areas uh, for flounder in the springtime is going to be around these jetties right here. Um, the golf course around Dolphin Island, 
the tips of these islands right here and then uh, Little Lagoon Pass and then Orange Beach Pass. All these passes right here are going to be loaded with flounder. So definitely if you come in here and, and fish these rock jetties around the bridge, stuff like that, late this month, early April, you're, you're going to start to see a lot of flounder uh, come into these areas, y'all. But that's pretty much what we got going on. Um, looking for redfish, continue to pound that marsh. Um, and if you're fishing in, in muddier areas uh, and, and you're, you know, you're starting to pick up some trout or you're, you're catching some trout, just know that those areas are going to be dry here in the next couple of weeks because these trout are going to be looking for sandy, salty water uh, to go ahead and, and make their beds and get ready to spawn out. Um, and then flounder are starting to migrate in. You can always find your flounder around the passes this time of year and then around late April, May, they'll start to disperse and your typical spots that you would find flounder, um, that they're pretty much going to be good to go. But that was the video y'all. Um, once again, check out our Patreon page. If y'all want to know specific spots, areas that are holding all three of these fish, um, I'm going to continue to pump out content on there and, uh, y'all hit that like button, comment, subscribe. We put out content all the time that is primarily based around the Mobile Bay and surrounding areas. We do a little bit of Pensacola, a lot of Mississippi and, and stuff like that. So we'll see y'all next time.